watching an SEO content machine next tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the article creator and I'm going to cover it in depth so you will see me go through each of the settings and I'll talk a little bit about how to use it. First once you load up the program click here article creator click on new. You want to start off with thinking about the article keyword you want to use for your article. Today's example, we're going to go with green tea. However, if I want to load or process hundreds to thousands of articles um, from a bunch of keywords, uh, instead of typing in each keyword one at a time, I'm better off loading all my keywords from a file. The advantage of loading keywords from a file is if the program gets shut down unexpectedly, you can actually just restart the task and it'll pick up where it left off. It does this by keeping track of what keywords have been processed and uh, what keywords have not. Today I'm going to go with the assumption that we're just processing one keyword, green tea. Now if I click on save, I'm going to get two error messages. There is some validation that happens on the settings that you put in. You can find out where the errors are by looking at the top here, reading the description and finding the highlighted red input values. So here it's saying I need to select an article template. So let's go down the list. If you are using this program to create content for your link building programs, I suggest that you start with just the article HTML template this will cover you for 99% of the content that you ever need. We also ship SEO Content Machine Next with a bunch of uh, pre-created templates for popular link building programs, which you can see on the list here. You can also tell SEO Content Machine Next how many articles you want it to create, as well as uh, how many paragraphs in each article, and you get a estimation of how many words in each article will appear. I'm going to select my save location of the article. Scrolling down, there's an advanced settings area which is uh, normally hidden, but if you find yourself needing to customize the file name of the article that is written to your hard drive, or you want to create a super spun that is an article with paragraphs combined and spun together with paragraphs. You can do it here. There's also an overwrite existing file setting, which I won't explain, but you can read the tooltip. Finally, this is the task name. In terms of flow, you want to start off at the left hand side and move your way right and uh, move down for each setting. Moving on to the next setting, which is the article rewriter all the content that Next finds already exists on the internet. It's vitally important that you rewrite the content and you can do this automatically with a spinner service. Now the program ships with SoftSpin which is a free article rewriter so you don't have to pay for anything. However, we also integrate with many popular other third-party spinners. You can see the list here. Most of these spinners are in English, but some of them, like XSpinner and SpinnerChief, I know they come preloaded with the option to spin other languages other than English. There's also a couple here that work for Sp Spanish content and uh, even one for French content. Remember, those are paid third-party services. So before you can use something like a Spin Rewriter, you need to fill out your API logins by clicking on this link here. And it brings you up to this little window and feel free to type in your details. Once we've selected a spinner, I'm going to go with Soft Spin. We're moving left to right, so we go to Content Sources. At the moment, there's only the option to select Google as your source for content. More importantly, under this tab, 
you can select a language you want to find content for. We do support Chinese and Japanese. Uh, if you are using an Asian language, please be aware that the content filtering isn't on the same standard as it is for English and languages that have spaces in between them, such as uh, French, for example. But it is very usable. Now we're going to this setting here, which is the top end result. Next can download between 10 to 100 sources for content. However, for the sake of speed, you only ever really need to reach out and download at a minimum the top 25 ranking results in Google. A good way of thinking about it is, for each article you want to create, you should match it with your content source. If you're doing 100 articles, then you should do 100 results. If you want to do a thousand articles, you're limited still a hundred results. But my suggestion for you is instead of trying to create a thousand articles out of one keyword, instead you find you split up the task. So that one keyword you can probably find ten variations. So find ten long tail keywords that are related to your main keyword and do ten keywords by one hundred articles, and you get your one thousand and you'll get a uh, better breadth and width of content created for yourself. Just to mention here that SEO Content Machine Next ships with its own Google Capture Breaking service uh, which allows you to search Google and download content non-stop. We used to support proxies but this isn't recommended as uh, Google are very good at blocking them very quick smart. If you must change your IP uh, I would suggest you use a VPN service instead. However, you don't need proxies or VPNs and in the long run it is cheaper for you just to use uh, the SEO content machine uh, capture breaking service. Which at the moment you're looking at 1,250 solves for about $10 which is going to take you very far especially if you only scrape a few keywords every single day. Moving onwards we have content options. In general, this is where you want to go to if you want to filter your content and also you want to insert your own content. So the first area is yes, your content filter. Um, as you can see, there's three areas. Basically, you have junk words and safe words, which is going to either limit what content appears or ensures that content such as when you are using safe words that the content only includes that word. If uh, you want to exclude certain results from the Google search you can do so here for example a competitor website maybe or Wikipedia or YouTube. Auto content inserts right now you can auto insert subheadings uh, all you have to do is click here on this toggle and you can select how many subheadings and in order which subheading tags will get used. Inside your article you can also have auto inserted list content. If you want to customize your titles don't forget to choose either by default Google only, you only just use custom titles or both. Click on edit custom titles this is where you paste in your custom titles. I won't go into the usage of the titles generator, feel free to click on this link here to watch a tutorial video for it. Moving down finally is custom paragraphs. If you want to add your own content, specifically maybe a footer that must always appear or a paragraph with an embedded link that you always want to appear, just click on add your own paragraph. You can select the location of where the paragraph should appear, click on edit set the actual content of that paragraph. Moving on to links, click on add link to add a link to your article. You can specify the URL, the keyword, there are some other settings here. If you want to insert your link as a sentence or maybe have it appear as a sentence at the very start or end of your article or maybe you want to insert contextual links. You might also want to dilute your anchor text to avoid link penalties by Google. The best way of doing that is by inserting generic link 
text anchors. It's set to zero, but you might want to choose any number that's appropriate. Your generic link anchors are currently only supplied in English, but feel free to delete this list and customize as required. Moving onwards now, we have insert images and videos. Your images, you can once again select how many you want. There's an opportunity to force them to appear at certain places in your article. If you're using a WordPress blog, you can make sure your first inserted image is marked as a post thumbnail or featured image. Under advanced images is your image width and image string. If you want to use your own images, change it from Google only to custom image URLs and paste in a bunch of URLs here. Similarly, alt text can be customized. Moving on to videos. Now these are YouTube videos that's going to be inserted into your article and they will be related to the keyword. So what happens is a search is done and you can select whether the search is done using the keyword. It's also possible to specify a YouTube username or channel that you want videos to be automatically inserted into your article for. Under the advanced settings is your width and your insert type. If however YouTube isn't going to work, work out for you, it's possible to use your own custom embeds. This might mean uh, if you're hosting your videos on Vimeo, you can paste each embed in this box instead. Finally, we move on to the schedule area. If you want your task to automatically run itself on a preset schedule, this is where you'll insert a cron string. I won't cover what cron is in detail in this tutorial, but however, there is a link here that if you click on, brings you out to an external service called the cron builder. And this is where you can play around to generate a cron string. And all you need to do is copy this cron string, paste it in here, and then your task is going to run based on that schedule. Finally, you can run your task automatically by clicking the green button. However, if all you need to do is save and edit, press save. Today, we're going to run it now. So our task appears in the task list. You'll see that uh, a task status is displayed. More importantly, a task is locked when it's being run. The importance of this is any task that is locked, if you make any edits to the screen, when you save it, when this task finishes, it's going to come back and overwrite any changes you made. In other words, don't make any live edits to your task if you see that it's been locked. While your task is being run, it's going to output its uh, steps to the task log here. You can identify it by the name. This button here is uh, used to copy the task log. What this means is if you have a problem running the program or while you set something and it looks like there's a bug, if you're going to contact me for support, I suggest that you copy your log first and include it with your email. If you don't and uh, you send me a support email, chances are I might get you to go back and send me the log anyway. Once your task is finished, I recommend you that you sit down and actually go through the log, familiarize, familiarize yourself with how it works. Uh, plenty of times if you're unable to find content, you can troubleshoot it immediately as you'll say zero, zero. If article content isn't being spun, you'll know because it won't tell you that it's spinning. Once your content has been created, it's very easy to navigate to the location of those articles by clicking this uh, green button here. That will navigate you to exactly where the articles are saved. As you can see, they're here. Finally, there is a spun article viewer. So if we click open and navigate to where we created our articles. Right, you'll see the original article here. If there was content was spun and we went to preview, you see that the content uh, will have the spun previews here as well. Finally, you can export. And one last thing I want to mention is this data label tab here. 
Uh, basically what it means is you can see exactly what content was downloaded by SEO Content Machine Next. If you click on open, you can see exactly what sentences were created, what paragraphs and what keywords are found. I hope this tutorial was uh, useful for you. It's a bit longer than usual. But if you uh, went through all of it, you'll have a very good understanding of how the program works in detail. This tutorial is made for this build number, 2019-630. As Next gets updated, you might find that some changes do appear, but all in all, the UI should be pretty stable for now.